hey, we're going to use a chicken cooker you just bought. Pretty cool. This one I made in 07. Looks still pretty good. First thing you want to do is you can use beer, wine, soda, pot, fruit juice, anything you like. Put a little bit of beer inside of here. That's what steams it. Now you want to season your chicken. I just, you, you can use the recipe, any kind of rub you like, but go ahead and put some salt. I like salt and pepper. Just salt and pepper is always good to me. A little bit on the inside. Okay. Take that sucker and put it butt first over the, the hole there. You can take these legs and spread them out a little bit so it sits up good. You're supposed to put a little piece of foil over the neck here to help keep the steam in. I forget sometimes it really doesn't matter. Put a little bit more liquid on the outside area here. And that's the steam your vegetables. I got some green beans I'm going to spread around in here. And then we're going to put some onions and some potatoes. And some sweet potatoes and some celery. may have overdone on the potatoes, but that's okay. They're going to cook down, believe me. I like to use a meat thermometer because it takes about two hours to cook, but sometimes, depending upon the size of your chicken, it may take longer or shorter. So use a meat thermometer and it works perfect every time. I set it at 180 degrees. Okay, you want to start it in a cold oven. Wait, because all this is covered up in here. Make sure it gets cooked nice and good. All right, look, that didn't take long. Now just, then all you gotta do is turn it on to 350, and you got it, you're doing it. There you go. Now just wait till the buzzer goes off, and you will have a nice dinner. Simple, easy, look at, Amount of cleanup, very little you have to do here. So good luck 